Welcome back to another session with the VF. Okay, it's looking very sorry for itself at the minute. Um, yeah, where have we got up to? Last time we were on, I think the forks, everything was still in, swinging arms were still in, so obviously all that's been removed. There's now nothing on the frame. Uh, other, just a plastic trim there at the top. So, what have we got? What have we found out? Well, what I have found out is, if I remove this blue roll, I wrestled to try and get this engine into uh, the frame and actually took the rocker cover off to try and gain a little bit of access. Now, you know when you look at this engine, I know a tape measure tells a thousand, you know it tells a thousand tails, doesn't it? When you look at that engine, it looks smaller. Okay, it does look smaller than that. You know, but what it is, <clears throat> because the head studs are inside that engine as it comes up like that, it's this is two inches narrower here from the, the kind of thinning section here, it's two inches narrower. So we've got a little bit of an issue here, but now this is why. Uh, I think, well, this, I think this, the, to be honest with you, this is going to be why it's not really been done much. Um, not, there's another chap, with all respect to him, there's another chap actually done it and got it in the frame, but he used the RC24 engine, I think. And that always looked bulkier. Head cylinder head, head wise, it always looked bulkier. So, and I think he did mention some flattening or something to the frame to get it to go in, but you know hey everyone to their own i mean you know all respect him but i don't really want to do that having said that what i've got now what i'm going to do i've kind of mulled this over and thought about it and looked at it and thought about it that's the frame is sort of sat on the engine there um it's just something you know it's a uh, but that's about as far as i can get it to go in on my own so uh it just will not come up through here so Let's have a look around it. So front engine mount to front engine mount. Now I think what may have to happen is that little lug there may have to come off. I'm not averse to doing that. There's nothing else on there. There's nothing else attaching to that. It's not that we're going to use. So I can neatly take that little lug off and just round it. But having said that, compare it to, yeah, the front engine mount is a big chunky bugger on this one. Let's have a look at the same one on the left hand, left hand side. Yeah, there he is. So apparently this bush I've read on the other lad who's managed to get it in, he used that. So until we get it in, I don't know yet. So back to this, because the bolt hole that I think we're going to use is going to be that to that. I think that is going to hit the frame in here. But anyway, well, that's one of the issues. <clears throat> um, right, moving around. So as you can see, it's really, really tight in there. I've got the solution. I've got my solution. Um, right, okay. <clears throat> what I propose to do be it right or be it wrong you can't really see it's a bit dark but that little lug at the front on that front engine mount there as well that I think may have to come off as well but we can try one way off of this side section up that's detachable that can be that can be looked at <clears throat> what I'm proposing then now I've been and got some threaded bar um, I'll tell you why I've been and got what I'm going to do I need to widen, so swinging arm wise, let's look talk about that first. This section here, I'm going to have to remove that section because obviously the swinging arm just has two, two fold lugs on it and it, it went at a cutout essentially in the middle for the exhaust to go through. Okay, so this has got to go, this little section here has got to go and 
well all of it's going to ultimately go but what I'm going to try and do then um, I'm going to zap through here hello Reg you alright Reggie what are you doing baby hey? I'm going to zap through here okay to allow the frame to go out wider because I toyed with taking this rail out and coming you know taking this section out here and, and making you know proper fitting a section that'll go back in that'll be give me the width that I want but what I also need is I need the width for the swinging arm I need a little bit more width for the swinging arm so what I'm going to do I'm going to allow the frame here to just stay as it is for now hey. Go on, in here you. You're on film, you know. Go on, in there. I know you crazy. We're on the... i tell you a few times, but... Go on, in there. Sorry about that. He won't go. Anyway. So what I'm going to do, is I'm going to zap through there. I'm just going to put a, a mill disc cutter through all of it. Obviously take the bolt out. I'm going to put a mill disc cutter straight through the middle of where the wheel is going to be. And one way I'm 100% decided how, and I want to release this section. I'm going to leave this in place. And what I want to do is I want to just use a card. Because what I need is about an inch. About 24 mil. Okay, to get the swing arm in, I need about 24 mil. So I need an inch. What I'm going to do is I'm going to put a jack in and jack this frame out. But using, I'm going to have a pre-cut spacer to put in the middle of it. So when I get the frame opened up to an inch it's going to be easier for me to either put something back in there although I think that's going to come out all of it out anyway but what I want to do first is get the engine in and mounted then come back to uh, swinging arm positions and all that sort of stuff so if it makes sense or whether I've waffled on a bit there that that's the the work in progress is going to be that zap through here zap through that one and I think the middle rather than up in the gusseted for want of a better strengthened corners this is obviously for suspension linkages and also centre stand so I want to try and keep that even if it's an inch wider there I'll work it out with the suspension when I get to that bit but I need all I'll need to do that is a space run a longer tube for the um, if it does end up just staying the inch wider there I'll, all I'll need to do is an, a spacer um, some spaces in on a longer tube and swinging up uh, the centre stand will go in there as well so what it is he wants to go in the attic because I had the ladder down last time didn't it and it ain't up so you're not going right that's where we're up to at the minute and I do believe by opening it out an inch this will then go in so not only do I gain the swinging arm going in I gain the engine going in Threaded bar with a spacer in to clamp it up at that point and then start making all the engine mounts and deciding and so try and kind of hold it all in situ I don't want to just chop massive sections of it out um, you know and, and I kind of know where to go I need to keep try and keep a handle on them um, on where things are so that's what trying to put a VFR engine in a VF looks like that's what it looks like there it is actually being done so uh, yeah engine mounted first I think with a little bit of leeway to move it side by side ideally so then it gives me chain 